at the request of the Canadian equivalent of the TSA, about CPAPs. Now, we get a lot of CPAP questions in our Facebook group about cruises, but here, this is relating to flying specifically. So if you have a CPAP machine, which stands for... Uh, Continuous Pressurized Air Circulation, I believe. (laughs) needs to be a P at the end. It's Continuous Pressurized Air... This is the mask you wear (laughs) so that you don't snore or die in your sleep. Uh, yeah, and you've got the 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 the, the flight mask on. Well, it depends you're, on which you're, one. You're in a F whatever in Top Gun. You've got yeah. the mask on, uh, and you use that for sleeping. And so it, it like forces air in to keep everything it working, does, yeah. or something like that. And it often uses uh, uses distilled water. Yeah, uh, and so you probably don't want to have any distilled water in it, taking it th- on the plane because no, that's a liquid, and you also so... can't travel with a seat with the uh, water in the reservoir. Yeah, uh, because it'll actually get into the machinery and kill it. Yeah, so that's <laughs> that, that's that, that's not even the big tip. That's like the prep tip. Yeah, uh, and so if you, you have a CPAP, you already know this. Yeah, well, general, yeah, generally speaking. Uh, but here's what you might not know: is that you need to take part of the CPAP machine out before mm-hmm. sending it through the scanner, and that is the motor. The motor. Yeah, and it has to be you that does it. They won't do it for you. Yeah. And so prior to, please, prior to even getting in the line for the scanner. Heck, before you even leave, honestly. Like, yeah. Leave your house. Like, just pack this way. Take that motor out. Because, and, and Walter explained it this way, is the motor looks a lot like a barrel. And so I'll let you imagine what things have barrels that the security at the airport would not like to have on their planes. Mm -hmm. And so uh, having it separated and in a separate bin so it can be scanned separately, they can in an instant be like, that is for your CPAP, that's a motor, I'm not worried about you anymore. And so it makes the process go much more quickly. And so uh, we didn't even have that with us when we went through Canadian TSA this time. Walter just pointed it out because it is one of the largest time sinkholes Mm -hmm. that holds up that line. You're at the airport and you want to know why that security line is going so slowly. It could be because people aren't prepped with their liquids or it could be because someone didn't remove the motor from their CPAP. Mm -hmm. This thing is not well known. He asked us to try and get the word out. We're doing our best to do that because it will save time for you and everyone behind you and you know, I think the security people will appreciate it and so maybe they'll be a little kinder. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Make their day easier. Make your day easier. Make my day easier so uh, this is for partly selfish partly altruistic reasons Um, but if you can just have this kind of stuff uh, that you know in advance it's going to make your flying experience wherever you're flying to easier for you and others and so uh, thank you so much for your kind attention on this one Uh, if you know people who have CPAP machines please share this tip video if they travel at all Uh, we really want to get the word out on this to help uh, you know the the TSA and the Canadian TSA um, have flights little little safer and security go faster. Mm-hmm.